Finance Minister Ken Foyata has indicated that he will culturalize revenue from the e-levy if he deems fit. This will be at the back of the collateralization of many other regular revenue sources, such as the GET Fund, ESLA Road Fund, among others. But what does the country gain from this particular move, and why do people see it as a dangerous one? Collateralization of revenue, basically, means using a particular revenue source and borrowing against it. It's just like taking a loan and agreeing that either all or part of a particular revenue be used to pay for the loan over an agreed period of time. Can you imagine what a lump sum of, say, $30 billion could do to the Ghanaian economy today? In case we got that from collateralizing e-levy revenues. Indeed, if the lump sum is strategically used, it could even create other revenue sources that could more than compensate for what the e-levy would have generated annually. But if the money is misused, then the country, future governments, as well as generations, would have been denied a regular source of income while they are saddled with a huge debt. So. Can we say, based on revenues already collateralized, that it is the best option? Well, for former finance minister, Sir Tepe, he does not think so. Uh, but in terms of debt management, uh, it has been a poor strategy because we only collateralize and then we leave the principal, you know, uh, and defer it to future generations. Meanwhile, we want to take the heritage fund, you know, from the same future generations. I don't think it's a good solution you know, to any of our problems. At least it has not led to any reversal of the downgrade. On his part, Professor of Finance John Gachi thinks the country needs a framework to guide any decision to collateralize revenue sources to check abuse. So the levies have been collateralized. Now what it means is that they could only do what they have collateralized it for within this short period. Beyond that, the long-term period, those revenues are largely not available, depending on the percentage of collateralization and the length of time. So what you are doing is that uh, in the next five years, those that revenue will not be in full available to any government to operate with. And that, that is a risk for the future. It will always be tempting for any government to collateralize its revenue sources. But the big question is whether the money will be judiciously used.